this is the T754. This is a Dutes engine, and this is 75 horsepower off the engine, a gross, um, and then it's about 64 and a half off the PTO. What that, what does that really mean? Well, actually, what it means is you can get a lot more done. Um, you're going to have special bush hogs out there that require minimum 50 PTO horsepower minimum. Um, you can run rear remotes on this thing. In fact, it's got two rear remotes already set up on this. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys the inside because I'm really excited about this one. This one's a power shuttle. So what's really cool about this cab is it is an insulated cab. Um, so if you're going to use this tractor out in the elements, um, it's going to be nice and comfortable for you. Um, one of the really cool features about it um, that I particularly like that makes it easy if you're running a snow pusher is you can go back and forth with this button right here. So you're not having to shift through your gear. So you've got forward there and you've got reverse here and then your neutral is in between. You've got blinkers on this thing as well as a horn as well as your hazard lights. It's push button full wheel drive as you see here with the indicator. So you can see all these, uh, all the dash here, how it's fully illuminated. It's easy to access. You got your gas meter here. It tells you your hours down here. Um, this has got your push button for your PTO as well. Manual, off, and auto. Now, um, a lot of people are questioning that on the TYM tractors. Um, why is there so many switches that you've got to press? And really, TYM, it's all about safety, and it really makes sense. So if you're using it on auto, as soon as you start to um, make a turn, it will lift up your PTO and shut your PTO off. Um, it'll actually lift up the back hitch as well. Um, and then you have your three-speed transmission over here, so your low, medium, and high, as well as your PTO adjustment here. Now, this one's got two options, so it's got a 540 standard and 540 economy. And this tractor is just very well built. You got your front and rear wipers. You got your lights, your front and rear as well for your work lights. Um, and as well as the lights that are on the hood. So that's always pretty cool features too. So that way if you're working at nighttime, you'll be able to see all the job applications that you're looking to do. Um, another feature that I particularly like about this particular tractor that really gets me excited is it has a throttle pedal. So if you're used to operating um, you know, a car or a truck and you're used to that throttle, you can just rev it up through this way. Maybe you wanna go through um, you're operating a hayer and you want to get that little bit of RPM out of it if you notice it's starting to bog down if you're dealing with wet hay you can raise your RPM up to continue to do that you want to take them that um, make sure that you're going to be able to do the right job this has got windows that you can open and close so you can get lots of ventilation in here um, which is a nice feature um, this one does have a sunroof which I thought was pretty handy so it's got heat, AC, radio, pretty much all the commodities that you'd want. But I'm going to take you right to the back of the tractor. I think that's where all the action happens. All right, so here we are at the back of the tractor. So as I was mentioning here, it's got two rear remotes. Um, so what you can do here is let's just say that you're running a snow blower. Um, you can have it so you can operate your up and down of the chute or the rotation of the side to side. Um, the lift capacity of this particular hitch is a little over 5,000 pounds. I mean, that's a lot of weight. So just think of what application you might be able to use this for. Um, you can buy a rake for this. You can buy box blades. Uh, we do sell all kinds of attachments um, for these setup and we can do package deals. Um, you can hook up your trailer wiring if you are hauling a trailer. Um, I know there's some applications out there, dump trailers that you might want to buy. You can actually make it so you can operate that um, using that as well. So again, 5,000 pounds, 74 horsepower on the front end of the engine, 64 off the PTO off of this. I mean, really this is a great tractor. Um, at a great price point and again this is why I chose my priority auto pick of the month and there's going to be lots more uh, to come so if you have any questions give me a call 207-521-5264 or as always dalton at yourpriorityautointractor.com till then see you later priorityattractor.com